and welcome back. This is my fourth update for Project Polish 5x5x5. This was a challenge that was started on Instagram by two ladies who I'm going to link below. And I have gotten a lot of polishes done. So I'm going to show you what empties or which polishes I have finished since last update, which was December 5th. And here they are. Since my last update, I finished China Glazes Ruby Pumps. Um, this was a really pretty shade for the Christmas time, whatever. Um, it refuses to dry down now, though, and once the polish does not dry down, like it stays tacky, then I'm done. I, I'm not going to fight with it, so that one's done. Um, I love this nail polish. This is China Glaze's Ugly Sweater Party, and it was a limited edition one from their Christmas collection, I think in 2015. But... With the chunky glitters that's in it, it takes me like 30 minutes in 20 cotton pads to take this off my nails. Um, I used it a few times and then I was like, okay, I cannot deal with this anymore. Which kind of makes me sad because this color is so pretty. I tried it with a base underneath, with no base, with um, anything I could think of to try and make this work. And I can't destroy my nails. Because I was having to use straight acetone and like letting it just soak and soak and soak. And then it was still a pain to get off. So because of what a pain this is to use or to take off, I'm just going to declutter it. Which is kind of sad because I was all the way up here. But whatever. It's My nails are more important to me than um, a pretty nail polish. And then just the other day I finished up this OPI Hello Kitty one in Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel. I had started about the halfway mark and I put my very last application on last night. So this one is completely done. Um, I put a lot of thinner in here and now it's just like really, really, really goopy. The brush is goopy. It's, it's really hard to even apply it to my nails. You see that? Ew. Yeah. So that one is done. Now on to updates. I think these are actually all new. I don't have really a whole lot to update. I don't know. Well, I'll just show you which nail polishes I'm using now because this pro project has kind of been all over the place for me since I'm going through nail polishes so fast. And I go through nail polishes really fast because I paint my nails every single night, maybe every other night. This is how I... Um, it forces me to sit down in the evening and like relax because if I don't paint my nails then I'm still trying to find things to do and then I will go to bed and I'm just exhausted because I have not allowed my body to rest. So that's how I go through polishes so fast. This Wet n Wild 206C, this one has been in my project since October 17th and I don't even have anywhere to write like where I'm at because I very rarely use this. This is more like my palette cleanser. Um, I don't expect this one to be done anytime soon because I don't wear neutral colors very often, although I really do like the shade of this. This Jessie's Girl polish in Sea Glass, I believe, or Julie G. No, Jessie's Girl in Sea Glass. I started up here, it was practically full, and now I am about to this line. I'm winding up having to use thinner in this because it's getting a little bit thick, but it still goes on fairly nicely, and um, I expect this one to be done by the end of this project, which is next month. <clears throat> a topper that I use on top of that Jessie's Girl one is this China Glaze in Isore. I didn't do it, and this is part of the same Christmas edition. Uh, Christmas limited edition is this one. They're so pretty. I really like this polish. It is super glittery and um, I can do about two coats of it by itself or I can put it on top of the Jessie's Girl one and it's just really pretty. This one's a little bit hard to get off as well but not as hard as the pink one. So I'm about right here. Maybe a little bit less. Orly's Bling Nail Polish, I started right here and that was on December 5th and now I am down to about right here. I like this color but it pulls really yellow on me so I have to be in the mood to use it. As pretty as it is, um, 
I think I'm going to focus on this one and the sea glass just so I can move them out. Um, this isn't a shade I would repurchase or think about buying again. I think I only bought this one because it wound up being on clearance after the holidays. Um, yeah, gold nail polish though isn't my normal jam. I am also putting in Revlon's Holographic Pearls. This is actually a top coat, but three layers of this. And it's like the prettiest holographic silvery glitter. It's really nice. This is my second bottle of this, I believe. Um, but I had dropped my nail polish bag and it had cracked. So the glass is cracked. It's not leaking, but I don't want it to accidentally break apart. So I'm going to use this and I am starting right here. I don't know if I can get this one done in the next month. If not, no biggie. It's pretty though. And I really do like this one, especially by itself. I'm not in love with it as a top coat. So those are my other five nail polishes that I would like to get some sort of progress on. Um, if I can finish the Orly gold one and the teal by February 5th, I'd be really happy. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave all of the links for the ladies who started this down below and the hashtag for Instagram. If you want to go check out that hashtag, there's a lot of really good progress photos on there. Anyways, have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Since my last update, my cat's gone crazy. Maybe I do have, I should have written that progress on. I do have progress to show you because this Jessie's Girl one um, was in my project for a while. How long has this one been in? Since November. Anyways, if you're doing this project,